My research looks at epigenetics and how the genome is expressed um, in different cell types and no one would have ever thought 10 years ago that's what an engineer would be doing. That's, that's the realm of cell biology. But we're using fundamental engineering principles to really look at changes in the cell expression. The genome is a big deal right now, understanding what genes are there, but not just what genes are there, how are they expressed? And how are they expressed such that my ears stay ears and my liver stays a liver the whole way through my body's development is really important. So we look at this as DNA is both a very complex polymer system so we can apply traditional aspects of chemical engineering, but also it's a complex polymer that does important things. So we really combine these two techniques and we're able to get at very fundamental, important cell biological problems that, like I said, could not be dealt with any other way. Tissue engineering and drug delivery are the next big things for most engineers, but unfortunately they haven't been successful because people don't really understand the fundamental character of the cell. And that's what we're trying to do, from the smallest molecular level inside the cell, trying to understand what controls it. Now we have, we're building on the shoulders of giants in biology. So biologists have done a great job of explaining what binds to what, what interacts with what, the time scales and things like that. But we're really looking at the whole system now and understanding how that system is all put together and what could possibly be the regulatory components of the system, things like that. So I think the future is unlimited. Once you understand something, you can change it. So we're also looking at the changes involved in cancer metastases. So once we understand what's really the underlying mechanism that would turn a normally possibly over-proliferated cell into a tumor, we can control it. So I, I firmly believe that understanding comes before creation and design. And particularly in biology, we're making big headway now into understanding so that the future can really work on the design concepts of making biology better.